outer NFC tag, <clears throat> shackle like that. We have a few options in our range, lots of small tags for metal products. And here's a couple that I wouldn't suggest. This is our carabiner or hardware tag. Looks quite cool. Needs two part epoxy resin to put it here. Will be subject to forces. Um, and in this particular high gloss metal, I wouldn't be super confident about that. Uh, also, uh, not cheap. You know, retail prices, to, uh, three US dollars for one of those. Same for these zip ties. You know, you could put this zip tie around it, tighten that up. You're then gonna have quite a lot of material on the zip tie. It's going to stick out, questionable durability, $3 uh, RRP price point as well. Quite expensive. These are a uh, smaller version of our on-metal self-adhesive sticker. This is what we would recommend. This with our pre-cut lengths of adhesive lined heat shrink. This stuff is, um, once that's shrunken down, using a heat gun like this, it turns into solid plastic and is really durable. So my recommendation for these tags is to pick the side that's not threaded so that you've got a bit more protection from uh, that protrusion there. Apply the tag. Will that stay on by itself? Not for very long. That diameter is too tight for us to really have confidence that that is as um, durable as it can be. We do have different um, selection of heat shrinks with different diameters. This happens to fit really nicely. Over there. And now we can use the heat gun. And that's it. That's our recommendation. And like I said, if you put it on this side, when it is hitting up against surfaces, it'll have a bit less impact here, but we've tested that extensively uh, with high impacts many times. We're very satisfied that that is a durable solution.